This is a Do It For Jesus production. I love to do art that lifts the heart. It is so much fun to share ideas. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to do a monochromatic um, watercolor painting. I mentioned earlier, um, I mean previously in another video that I was on this new journey to learn watercolor. And um, um, so I'm starting. Um, there's a lot of <clears throat> videos on how to start and, you know, beginner's tips and I've been looking at several videos and um, learning a lot. And um, I just wanted to just start. I was going to start with some making some lines. But um, I decided to just go ahead and um, do this one technique that I saw um, on monochromatic um, coloring. Um um, oh, well, technique rather, with watercolor from Alfonso Dunn. I saw a, he did a flower, but um, I'm not gonna do a flower. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a background, just to do a little play and, and give <clears throat> with this new brush that I have here. It's a sablet Utrecht, and this is a 14 round. So I think I gotta like kind of like. Yeah, I hope I'm inside the right here. So this is it right here. Yes, I think I, let me see if I can make this light a little better. Yeah, I think so. This is a little better. So I know there are different techniques like wet on wet, wet on dry. So I think what I'm going to try is wet on wet. <laughs> and I've done some watercoloring before, but, but I never like ventured out to get the brush and get me like a decent pair of watercolor. So, um, they have a brush here. Well, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. So, I'm going to try this wet on wet technique and then see what happens. Uh, this is so um, exciting for me. So, I think I'm going to do different hues of this. This color right here. Does it say it's like a purple color? Do it, do it say the name? No, it doesn't say the name. But, um, I'm just going to go ahead and try it there you go hmm lovely right right so like I said monochromatic and it's so it's like when you use different values the same um color if I'm not mistaken from what I understand um <laughs> Hope I understand understood it correctly. And um, so I'm just gonna use purple. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna just use purple. And I'm going to use this background for um something. <laughs> right. So this is light, a little light color. So I'm gonna do that. I kinda want it to be um So what I saw him do was he went from light to dark. Um right. Oh yeah, that's oh if I yeah, I remember now. He went from light to dark. And what he did was he used less water to make it darker. So right now I'm using more water. Right. So um so I think I'm gonna let this dry. Bring some of this water. Bring some of this down. Right. Watercolors are so pretty. I think. Right. Good. So we have that. Right. 
So I'm gonna dry that up. Let me move this out the way. I'm only using one color. So I'm gonna dry this. Then I'm gonna go back in. I don't even know if I have to dry it in between, but anyway, I'm playing, I'm experimenting, so next time I'll do like a little sketch or something and then try to color it in. So I like that already because it's already showing like different hues, you know, different values. So, okay, move this out the way, bring this back, and this time I'm going to put a little bit of water right here. Not to say. So let me try this here. Right. Ooh. Yes. That's nice. Okay. I like the way this brush is because you can go like a line. Ooh. Okay. So I will try to do some lines. Let me try it anyway. In there. First. Yeah. No. First, I want to do something. Let me try. Let me just. Be try to be a little bit creative with this here. Make it a little darker. Almost. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna try some lines. I'm gonna try it anyway. And, uh, okay. Hold on one second. I just stopped it for a minute and then came back just in case it tried to plonk out on me because I am using my phone real quick, which I have not been really using because, um, so, what I'm going to do is use this other, when I go for the darker purple, I'm going to, um, actually use a lines for the darker purple. Try to get this right in this section. Okay. So that's that. And then we'll try this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some lines and I'm going to write something. I'm going to be really creative. And, um, I like the fact that you can make um, you can, the way that you can paint with this brush, I just, I really like it. Let me see, just a little bit more water. I just saw some darkness lying over here. <clears throat> yeah, because I think if I just don't, just, if I just don't jump in and just try, I'm going to be, I'm going to, like, be procrastinating and that will be a problem because I'm like okay it's not like I didn't play with watercolors before but I think just the just the idea of oh I'm, I'm I want to learn the techniques the theory and really learn techniques and really how to really really use watercolor um my mind wants to go somewhere else with being so um with a Oh God, I gotta. I hope I do this right. Nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> Time out for that. So, I don't want the camera to conk out on me while I'm doing this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop it and come right back. That way, I won't lose the footage if it does. Okay, so moving right along. Right now, I'm just putting a little border with this darker value. That's what I'm doing now. I'm not, I'm not really using any water at this point because I want to get the darkness of the, um, the purple here. 
And so if I know if I put it in the water, I'm going to lighten it. It's going to um, dilute the, the water color. So I may have to dip it a little bit. No. No, no, no. I don't have to. Just keep going. Just keep going. All right. And so... So sometimes just starting with small projects and very basic like I just did like three different hues and um values rather monochromatic and um did some lines and um so it's like breaking the ice too with these new products. may have to wet it a little bit. There's a little bit of water over there. I'll wet it. Okay, that's not bad. Hmm. Okay. So that's that. And um, I'm not going to do anything more with that. That's my little first watercolor project. And so, I'm going to dry that up and I'll be back. Get confused. You gotta live your life. 
Bye. 